A reminder from state police that winter is coming. After a four vehicle crash caused by snow on the road shut down part of I-93 in Franconia for two hours this afternoon. It happened just after two near exit 35. Several vehicles, including a wheelchair van, crashed or slid off the road that was covered in slush from a light snowfall. Obviously the north part of the state will be getting snow first, so we'll see the crashes filter down from the north coming south. Um, so hopefully if everyone just pays attention and watches their speeds and watches the weather, hopefully that we'll be able to, uh, to avoid some crashes this year. Even without snow in most areas, state police had their hands full today. We've had a lot of crashes today to begin with and it's not only rain, but it's that cold rain. As the temperatures drop and we get closer to the snowy season, state police want people to remember to keep distance between other vehicles and always slow down and move over for emergency vehicles. Every year we get hit. Every single year we get hit and it happens more and more often. Over the last 12 years, we see more and more cruisers getting hit. And I think that's a combination of people not moving over and people being distracted for whatever reasons, whether it be cell phone or something else going inside the car. but please move over and we so appreciate that. In all, five people were taken to the hospital with minor injuries following that crash in Franconia this afternoon. The northern parts of the state, they could see some more snow tonight and tomorrow. We're live along I-93 and hooks it tonight. Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News 9.